WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. And we got all the U.S. indices that we track as well as all the sectors with inside the S&P 500 trading lower. Dow's down 359 points. That's 1%. Eight tenths for the S&P or 32 points. Four tenths for the NASDAQ 100, 46 points. One and six tenths for the Russell, 28 points there. Semis off 38. Tranny's down 226. It's a little bit of a bloodbath. Spot Volatilix is now trading well above its 50-day exponential moving average, but we do have a one-day rate of change above plus 10%. That's going to be important at day's end, not at 11 a.m. You've got gold trading up uh, out at 2064. Silver Trading at 2584. Lights we crude at 6808. That's back 53 cents right now. Natural gas down seven cents. The 30 year treasury up 26 ticks. Print out 132.22. Let's try to figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. We begin with the ES mini upper left hand side. What I see out here is a likely consolidation pattern. I think that'll be confirmed today. Well, it'll either be confirmed or not confirmed today. I'd like to see at least two touch points out here. We've got one right now. So possibility that we just have a little bit of a consolidation going on. Now that spot volatilix, you can see it's well above the 50 day exponential. The 50 day is 1919. Any close above it today, preferably from the bear standpoint, would be a close above it, but less than a 10% one day rate of change that would keep things solidly in the hands of sellers out there but we do have this potential in fact we've got consolidations all over the place really if we take a look at the nq upper right hand chart first it's consolidating with inside its new bullish structured profile it would need a close below 12 9 14 before it could even signal potential change in trend out there and then we've got the other sideways consolidation u.s dollar index also in a consolidating pattern also trading with inside its daily profile out there the same can be said for goldilocks although it is attempting to bust out of its consolidation i'll have to wait for today's candle to uh, confirm before we can determine whether it's a consolidating pattern in here and i don't like to use two candles in a row out here for the uh, top of a consolidating pattern silver though um same kind of scenario this also may be in a consolidation so even though price is trading above the top of its daily profile it's just this sideways consolidation lights we crude pulled back tested and rejected that bullish hammer swing point that was from the uh, trading session of march the uh, 20th it's still below profile out there we'd really have to look at the intraday charts to see if there's any kind of a bottom signal and natural gas today if it closed below 214 i don't negate it's rose momentum indicator bottom and you can see a consolidation in the 30-year treasury as well. So these markets out here right now, I think consolidation, consolidation, and a little bit of consolidation. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. If you have to start your Thursday, please have a terrific one. Thanks for joining us. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.